okay, you just got your WinWing MFDs and you set them up through SimApp Pro and you log into DCS and you start your flight and you're looking at your MFDs and you're thinking, man, these look really dim. But what if I could show you that you can change them from this dim to bright and easily readable? We're going to dive into that. This is DCS Down and Dirty. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the website reshade.me. And this is the program that's going to apply the filters to brighten the image on your MFDs. So go ahead, click on download here, which is going to take us down to the bottom of the page. And the current version as of this date is version 6.5.1. So you're going to download that and uh, it's going to go to your downloads folder, which is right here. And once you do that, we are going to double click on it. And that's going to bring up this screen right here where we have to say, what game do we want to hook this into. So we're going to go to browse and then you need to find your path where you have installed DCS. So for me, it's my D drive, DCS world, bin MT, and then here is the executable. So we're going to click on that and click open and click next. And DCS uses direct X 11 or 12 and then click next. And we want to say that we want to install standard effects and I believe sweet effects, just the first two. That's all that we're going to need. And then click next and finish and it is done. So the next thing that we want to do is we have to, we have to do a little bit of math and we have to tell Reshade exactly which monitors that we want the filters applied to. So in order to do that, we are going to go to right click on your desktop, and go to display settings. So here are all the monitors that I have currently set up. And I have number two is my main monitor that DCS is being run on. And then I have my MFDs as three, four, and five. We need to understand how many pixels are in each one of these monitors so that we get the total number of output that's coming from DCS. So if we click on number two and scroll down, we can see that the display resolution is 3840 by 2160. If we go to each of our MFDs, I can see that each MFD is 768 by 124. So we know the height is always going to be in total, it's always gonna be 2160. So at this point, we're really just looking for the width of everything. So if I take the width of 3840, add on top of that the width of 768 and then the next mfd of 768 add all those together that is the total width that dcs is outputting to all of my monitors so now that you have the total width and total height of all of your monitor outputs you have to use a photo image program to create a ui map and this is my UI map. The total width of all of my monitors is 5376 by 2160. That's this the white part is my main monitor and the black part is where all of my MFDs reside. So this is really important that you have just a simple white and black graphic. Once you have created your PNG graphic, the next step is to upload that PNG graphic to your bin MT folder where you have DCS world installed. And then there'll be a new folder in here called reshade shaders. You double click on that, double click on textures, and here's where you want to put it. And you must label UI mask dot PNG. Okay. That's super important. UI mask dot PNG. Once you have this file in place, now we can go into DCS and set up your filters. Okay. So as you can see, now that we're in DCS, Reshade is giving you a message at the top. Reshade is now successfully installed and press home to start the tutorial. So we're going to press the home key. At this point, I'm going to skip the tutorial. I don't think that there's anything super important in here. Okay, so these are the four elements of Reshade that you want to pay attention to. Now, these could be in any place within here, but you do have the ability to click on something and drag it up and down. 
So I like to drag all of mine to the top so I can see it immediately. But you need them in this particular order. You need UI mask at the top, then you need layers, then you need tone map, and then you need UI mask at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and load into a jet and then you can see what the settings are for each one of these and how it affects the output. Okay, so I've hopped into an F-18. I have the MFD showing on the right side, so you can see what I'm seeing on my main screen, but also you can see what I'm seeing on my physical MFD in front of me. It still looks pretty dull. And the reason for that is that Reshade has a really cool feature in settings that allows you right here to have an effect toggle key. So I've set mine to the number pad key. So anytime that I click on the number pad key, my effect will turn on and turn off. I can toggle between them. So when you look down here, here are all the settings that I have put together that I think look really, really well uh, within the F-18 when you have three MFDs, especially when you're taking into account that one of those FMDs is gonna show a map. And when I hit the toggle key, and you can see that I turn this on, it's so much brighter, it's so much easier to track. So my recommendation is to just use the numbers that I've put in here and then play around with them and see if there's anything that works better for you. You can always come up here and click save, which will allow you to save presets. Um, I find that it's useful to have a different preset sometimes for different jets that I fly. So I have one for the F-18, I have a different one for the F-16, and that's mostly just because the colors that come out of each of the MFD for various jets might be slightly different, and I don't want to oversaturate one jet, which then washes out another jet. So I do make different presets for different jets. But that's basically it. That's how you get your MFDs looking bright so that you can easily see them while you're flying. This has been DCS Down and Dirty. Happy flying.